horrendous, horrific time. There will be a second chance in that trial of tribulation for salvation. 144,000 Jews will go out and preach the gospel. At the end of the seven years, this fiction says that the holy city, Jesus, will descend into New Jerusalem. Christ will establish his holy city in the New Jerusalem on earth for a thousand years. That picture, ladies and gentlemen, my brother, my sister, is quite different than what the Bible teaches. What does the Bible teach about the second coming of Christ? Now, there is something that we need to be aware of right from the beginning. And that is the Bible does predict that there will be false prophecies about the second coming of Christ before, before Jesus returns, and many will be deceived. See, this is not merely an academic question. It's not merely a question of, oh, you believe this about the second coming, and I believe this. It is a matter of a deception that has been palmed off by Satan so that people will not be ready for the true second coming of Christ. The Bible teaches that there will be false prophecies regarding the second coming that appear at end time. Matthew 24, verse 24 says, false Christ and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders. This is Matthew 24, verse 24, so as to deceive, if possible, the elect. The saved, the elect of God will be deceived, according to this passage, by false prophecy just before the second coming of Christ. That means it is imperative for us to know and to understand the facts surrounding the second coming of our Lord. That means it's absolutely imperative for us to understand Christ's second coming. Now, what are the events that surround the coming of Jesus Christ? Here is the first that the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that the coming of Christ will be a visible event. The Bible does not teach that the second coming of Christ, or what some people call the rapture, is a secret event known only to believers. Notice how the scripture puts this in Matthew, the 24th chapter, and the 27th verse. Here you have it, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 27. For as lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also the Son of Man be. It says, as lightning flashes from the east even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. That is a spectacular event. That is a glorious event. That is not something that only a few see. It's not something secret. Who will see Jesus when he comes? Who will see our Lord when he returns? Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7 says, Behold, he's coming with clouds. And what does it say there? Every eye will see him. The eyes of the young and the eyes of the old. The eyes of the rich in the eyes of the poor, the eyes of the African in the eyes of the South American in the eyes of the European in the eyes of the American. The Bible does not say that Christ will come secretly only to a few. Christ came quietly once. Only believers saw him come then. He came the first time as a babe born in Bethlehem's manger. He came as the first time seen only to those who were believers. They gathered around. Mary and Joseph were there. A few shepherds were there. Later, the wise men who followed the star were there. But when Christ comes the second time, he's not coming quietly. He's not coming secretly. He's not coming as a babe born in Bethlehem's manger. No friend, the Bible says that when Jesus comes, he comes as King of Kings. He comes as Lord of Lords. He comes gloriously in the sky as lightning flashes from the east even unto the west. The Bible does not know. The thought of Jesus coming secretly only to a few. When Christ comes, he comes visibly. He comes so that every eye will see him. He comes in spectacular glory. This same Jesus 
that lived on earth, that walked the dusty streets of Galilee. This same Christ who touched the eyes of the blind and they were opened, who touched the ears of the deaf and they were unstopped. This Jesus walked through the crowds and as he did, this Christ took children in his arms and they were resurrected. This is the Jesus that's coming again, this loving, caring, compassionate Christ. He's the one that hung on the cross. He's the one with nails through his hands. He is the one that expressed his love for us on Calvary. And he is the one that triumphed over the tomb. He is the one that was resurrected from the dead. He's the Jesus that is coming again, this loving, life-giving, compassionate, caring Lord. He's not coming as some vindictive judge. He's not coming as some wrathful tyrant. The book of Acts describes the coming of our Lord. The disciples stretched their necks as they watched Jesus ascend into heaven. I'm sure there were tears in their eyes. They wondered whether they would ever see their Lord again. And in the book of Acts, chapter 1, in verse 9, the Bible puts it this way. Now when he had spoken these things, they watched. He was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And the scripture continues in verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, saying to them, this same Jesus, did you get that, friend? This same Jesus who is taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. This same Jesus that you saw ascend, this Christ is coming. His ascension was visible. His descending from heaven will be visible. They saw him go up in the clouds, and they will see him return in the clouds. The scripture says in, Acts, in Luke chapter 21 and verse 27, that when Christ comes, that we will see him come in power and glory. The Bible says, then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and glory. Christ's coming will be a visible event. Christ's coming will be a literal event. Christ's coming will be a glorious event. There is nothing secret about this event, friend. This will be the most glorious event of the history of the ages. And the Bible teaches that when Jesus Christ comes back, he will not come back alone. In Matthew chapter 25 and verse 31, the scripture puts it this way, when the Son of Man comes in his...